In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Forge mods for Minecraft 1.21.5 or later on your Mac. Before we get started, you will need to have Java installed to your Mac, so if you don't have it already, I will leave that guide linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the Minecraft files to our Mac so we can install the Forge mods later. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher, and then in the versions drop down menu, you want to select 1.21.5 and you want to click play. Once Minecraft opens and you see the menu, this means the files have been downloaded correctly. So you want to click on quit game and now we can go ahead and download Forge. To download Forge, you want to open your web browser and you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net and I'll leave this website linked in the description below. From here, you want to click on your Minecraft version in the left hand side menu. And this example, we are selecting 1.21.5. Once you've selected your Minecraft version, you want to click the installer and then you'll be taken to this ad page. So you'll have to wait five seconds before you can skip the ad in the top right hand corner. Once the skip button appears, you want to click on it and then it will begin to automatically download the Forge installer. So for this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded the Forge installer, we just need to download our Forge mods. So to do this again, we want to open our web browser and you want to go to a modding website of your choice and for this example, we're using modriff.com. From here, you want to scroll down and then you want to select discover mods. And now you want to go ahead and choose the mods you want to download. Now I do recommend filtering these mods. So we're going to select the version, which is 1.21.5. And if we keep scrolling down here under loader, you want to select the forge version. Now we've done this, we can go ahead and browse through mods for our Minecraft version. So for this example here, I'm going to choose zero's minimap. So I'm going to select it. And once you're inside the mod page, you want to click on the versions tab. And then you want to scroll down and you want to find the version of the Minecraft mod for the version of Minecraft you are playing. It also needs to be for the Forge platform. So for this example, it's going to be the 1.21.5 version, but this one is also for the Forge platform. So we are going to select this one. And now you want to click on the download button and you want to go ahead and download the mod onto your Mac. So again, I'm going to download it to my desktop. So now we've downloaded the Forge installer and our Forge mods, we just need to go ahead and install Forge. So to do this, we're going to open the Forge installer. And if you get this error message, we need to go ahead and approve it in the system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, and then you want to select system settings. Once you're inside system settings, you want to scroll down until you find privacy and security. And then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of that until we see the Forge labeled here. So you want to select open anyway. And in the pop-up menu, you want to select to open anyway. And then you may need to use your Mac password or touch ID to open the Forge installer. And once it opens, it will look like this. To install Forge, it's very simple. You simply want to make sure the install client option has been selected. And then you want to click on OK. Now it's going to install Forge to Minecraft. And this may take a few seconds if it's your first time. Once Minecraft Forge has been installed, you'll see this pop-up message. So you want to click on OK. And now we can go ahead and delete the Forge log from our desktop. And we can also delete the Forge installer if you'd wish to do so. Now Forge has been installed, we just need to go ahead and install our Forge mods. To install our Forge mods, we first want to open our Minecraft launcher. Then you want to click on the installations tab at the very top and you should see Forge appear. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft launcher. From here, you want to click on the folder icon next to the Forge profile and this will open up your installation folder. Now we need to go ahead and find the mods folder. However, if we don't have one, we need to create one. So to do this, you want to click on the circle icon in the top right hand corner, and you want to click on new folder, and you want to rename it mods. Once you've renamed it, you want to click into the mods folder, and then you want to go ahead and put your forge mods into the mods folder we have just created, like this. Once we've done that, you can exit out of the installation folder, and now we just need to go ahead and play Minecraft with our forge mods. So to do this, you want to click on the play tab at the top, and then in the versions drop down menu, you want to select the Forge version. Now you want to click on play. If you get this error message, you want to click the box and then you want to click on play. When opening Forge for the first time, it may take a few seconds, but you know you've done this correctly because it will say Forge in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to see a list of the mods you have installed, you want to click on the mods button. And here you can find the list of all of your mods. And here you can see the zeros minimap that we have just installed. If you want to configure it, you want to click on the configure button and here you can change your mod settings. However, for this example, we are going to play Minecraft with our mod. So we're going to go back to the main menu. And now we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft just as we normally would. 
and as you can see I have just spawned into my world and you can see the Zero's minimap working in the top left hand corner. So I can go ahead and start playing Minecraft just as I normally would. And that's it, so if this video is helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below.